isn't. Well, it's Monday, so there's a board meeting this morning. Where's Mr. Edward? Don't know. Daily collections instead of twice a week. I well, think he knows about it. It's the meeting. Is Edward here yet? I haven't seen him. But did he say he was going to be late in? No. Is that the discount? Yes. Yes, I would, please. Perhaps he overslept. Edward? He never slept late in his life. What rate's that? Seven and a half? No, no, the usual monthly settlement. Was he at home yesterday, do you know? We drove into the country for the day. Why? Oh, it's uh, nothing. Bill, what's he doing back? No precious altar blazes. Have we got a spare Arctic? Well, 589 should be out of workshop soon. Well, she's smaller, isn't she? You'll have to watch the loading. All we've got available. Dave, you get along to some telephone for you. What? Were you at home yesterday? No, no, I went to the broads the weekend. Make sure she goes on the Weybridge then, Bill. I'll see to it. Yeah, we don't want any overloads going out. Got to switch a load. You don't know where Edward is, do you? No. What did you say about a phone call? Yes, well, never mind that. Uh, look, I've been a bit delayed. We'll have to put the meeting back half an hour. Tell the other directors, will you? Right. Well, I must apologize for having kept you waiting, Mr. Hammond. Well, it's all right. I've made arrangements now. It was urgent, I promise you. The family in danger of eviction. Can we get on? Yes. Yes, of course. We have to deal with several items under your late father's will. Uh, you and I being the trustees. First concerns a query in relation to the estate duty already paid. Miss Kingsley, Mr. Edward phoned. It'll be half an hour late for the meeting. Did he say why? No. Oh. Uh, next, Mr. Hammond, under clause three of your father's will. Yes, I remember it. Uh. Close three. I bequeath the sum of £1,000 to my daughter, Barbara Kingsley, for her absolute use and benefit, free of all duties, uh, which she receives uh, on her coming of age, of course. And today is her 18th birthday, I know. Oh? Hmm. Her mother mentioned it. Oh, I see. As I've arranged the, that Miss Kingsley, uh, Miss uh, Barbara Kingsley, that is, uh, should call in later this morning. And she does, no doubt. Uh, shall I, sir? Hmm? Yes. It's a long agenda. We'll be lucky to finish the meeting in time. Yes. Oh, you're here. I've been looking for you. Well, there is supposed to be a board meeting. Should have started. Well, Mr. Edward phoned. Meeting's put back half an hour. Why? We've been delayed somewhere. I've told Miss Kingsley. How about some coffee? Okay. We'll never be in time now. Can we put this meeting off? Better talk to Ted. See what he says. And uh, how's your mother keeping? She's taking a long rest abroad on medical advice. She's been rather ill. Heart trouble. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it uh, serious? Well, it's a very good recovery, according to the specialist, as long as she avoids stress and worry. Right. Uh, when's she coming back? I'd like to see her. Pay my respects. Oh, uh, perhaps a month, maybe more. She's left it open. Uh, Mr. Hammond, uh, I would like to ask you... Uh, yeah? I've always taken a great interest in the firm ever since your father founded uh, Hammond Transport. I can say now that I was uh, somewhat apprehensive about the future when your father died. Uh, personally, I felt that uh, you had some right to be left to controlling interests, uh, but your father was adamant. We've managed. Mm. Uh, the provision in your father's will that uh, Miss Jennifer Kingsley should be a director was the one I was privately most concerned about, uh, in view of the, shall we say, difficult emotional factors involved. She's good at her job. 
It's worked out all right. So, uh, relations between yourself and Miss Kingsley are now uh, reasonably cordial? Yes, you could say that. Good, I'm glad. For the sake of the firm. Mr. Edward Hammond has a table booked for lunch today. Yes, one o'clock. Could you change it to 1.30? Thank you. Morning. Morning. Did you sleep well? Fine. Where have you been? I've been sorting out your daughter's thousand quid. Castle phoned about it last week, I forgot to tell you. Hey, we'd better get started. Where are the others? Waiting, I think. I'd say I'll just be a couple of minutes. Well, I thought I'd find you two in the boardroom. There's a bit of a problem. What? Did you get a phone call yesterday? Wasn't it? Why? Should I have done? Brian thinks that we should postpone this meeting. Postpone it? Why? I'm sorry about the delay. Right. Let's get started, shall we? What about Brian? Apologies from Brian. That's the first item. Item two, minutes of the last meeting. Any queries? No. Signed as a true record. Right, item three. Where is Brian? What's happened? Hmm? It's, um, it's a personal matter. I'll tell you later. Item three, matters arising. Sorry, I'm late. I got delayed. I was beginning to wonder if anyone was coming. Yes, I'm sorry. Well, anyway, it's nice to see you. Did you have a good flight? Very pleasant. We were rather late getting in. Still, I didn't keep you waiting, as it turned out. <laughs> no. Where's your luggage? Oh, uh, the car's in the car park. It's not very far. You're looking very well, I must say. I feel well. Quite my old self again. Where are the others? They couldn't come. Oh? There, there was a board meeting. Oh, I see. There wasn't much on the agenda for me, so I said I'd come and meet you. Well, that was very nice of you, Brown. You lost weight. Your face looks thinner somehow. You haven't been ill, have you? No, no, I'm fine. Ted and David send their love. They're looking forward to seeing you. Good. We must arrange something. 